Welcome to Channel Japan. I'm Maki Arai. And I'm Makiko Tsuda. Every week, we bring you the freshest information out of Japan from our studio here in Tokyo. From the economy to culture and even food, if you want to find out what's happening in Japan right now, this is where you'll find it. And these are our topics for today. From World Business Satellite, drones that are demonstrating surprising skills in the agricultural field. Also from World Business Satellite, a company with a mission to energize other companies, nurtures employees to do what's expected as expected. From Takumi, a maker of sports gloves that are loved by professional athletes. And in the Project Japan, a look at the latest Japanese techniques and technologies to combat communicable diseases threatening the world. So let's get started. First, we have a report from TV Tokyo's World Business Satellite. Yes, uh, first I want to ask you, uh, I'm sure you've heard of drones and know what they do, but um, do you know in which fields or how they're being used right now? Well, I know that they are frequently used for photography. That's right, and uh, they're also being used in the agricultural, fisheries and forestry industries for inspections or t uh, taking measurements and observation, transport, and also to carry out tasks in uh, danger zones. And uh, drones are said to have the potential of bringing about an industrial revolution of the skies. Mm. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I can imagine them flying to places difficult to reach on foot and handling complex tasks. That's right. And uh, we have a graph over here uh, that shows the drone market until the year 2030. And as you can see, in 2015, the industrial or commercial use drone market uh, in Japan was worth about 3 billion yen. But it's seen to continue expanding and is expected to exceed 100 billion yen by 2030. Mm, so it's clear that drones have lots of potentials as a product. Yes, and uh, the report we'll be showing this time uh, is on their use in agriculture, where the opportunities and benefits are said to be significant. Mm. Well, with worries that agriculture in Japan will continue declining, especially with the aging and shrinking population, how can drones help? Well, uh, a particularly big issue in the industry is that the average age of farmers now is said to be over 66 years old. So there's a great need to make agricultural work more efficient and less backbreaking. And so the hope is that drones can help and bring new energy into the industry. That's exactly what they're hoping. And uh, the development of agricultural drones is actually moving ahead faster than most people think. So how can they energize Japanese agriculture? Take a look. A factory in Fukushima Prefecture. In the first floor area, are several dozens of aircraft waiting to be shipped out. They are drones. And on the second floor, drones are being mass produced. The staff members attach components to them by hand. They've already received 300 orders for deliveries in August. Despite operating at full capacity, production can't keep up with demand. The rice planting season's already started. Customers say they want to use them for herbicide spraying from this year. So we're working at full speed. The agrochemical spraying drones made here are priced at 2.2 million yen each. Take off! A key feature is the tank attached to the body to hold pesticides. The craft is kept stable by six propellers. The chemicals are sprayed from two pipes, with a two-hectare paddy completed in about 20 minutes. 80% of rice paddies in Japan are less than two hectares in size. Until recently, pesticides were sprayed by hand, an extremely labor-intensive process. The agrochemical spraying drone was developed by Enroute. We can sell 3,000 to 4,000 drones annually. 
When the population ages and people don't have the physical strength to do the work, robot replacement will become necessary for society and speed up further. Agriculture that utilizes drones is evolving at a surprising pace. This is a media event held at a restaurant in Tokyo. Unveiled are what they call smart vegetables. These are asparaguses, cucumbers, potatoes, onions, and others. Developed by Saga Prefecture, which is promoting IT agriculture and entrepreneurial ventures such as Optium, these smart vegetables were manufactured utilizing information technology. Agriculture that's fun, cool, and profitable will emerge from Saga using IT. Also shown at this event was AgriDrone, which was developed by Optim. It's a state-of-the-art drone equipped with a function that's a first in the world. We've given birth to a new technique for agriculture that hasn't been adopted anywhere in the world yet. In the future, Japan will be able to improve its agricultural competitiveness. This drone is said to be used in the production of smart vegetables as well. So, what can it do? The Saga University Research Center. A staff member of Optim brings out a light that emits ultraviolet rays. It generates about 250 volts of electricity. We exterminate nocturnal insects without using pesticides. A potato farm after sunset. The light is set on the drone. And it takes off. Will it really be able to attract insects? It's caught a whole bunch. About 50 insects have been caught and exterminated with the high voltage wire net. They say by setting the flight area and a timer, this drone can be flown automatically at night and get rid of pests. If drones can be used effectively at night, it would be an interesting method. And during the daytime, it flies right above a soybean field. It's taking video in 4K resolution. The video is transmitted over the internet to a cloud computer and analyzed using an artificial intelligence system. The area framed in red is where the insects are. Going to that location. This is it. Is a soybean seedling that's been eaten by insects. He also finds the culprits. Before the damage becomes worse, drones can spray pesticides with pinpoint accuracy, preventing further damage. They say they can fly the drone to the exact insect-affected area to spray pesticides. Shoji Naridomi is a young local farmer who started using drones in August of last year. 
He says he's been able to grow his onions more efficiently. We used to have to walk around and check each one. The advantage of flying drones is that we can see the whole field and also cut labor costs. He says he hopes to continue using drones to eventually increase the yield as well. President Shunji Sugaya says drones will bring about an agricultural revolution. Robots can operate regardless of whether it's night or day. With artificial eye seeing and artificial intelligence analyzing, production efficiency can be doubled. And what people have to do can be minimized. I believe there's a strong possibility that the arrival of drones will change agriculture in a big way.